everybody. How are you today? Hello. Buenas noches. ¿Cómo están? It's good to have you here, my dear participants. Good evening. It's good to have you here in class. Uh, we are starting right now the class, uh, but we are going just wait a couple of minutes for people coming, right? Eh, vamos a esperar, ¿verdad? Un momentito para que las personas que eh, se están conectando, ¿verdad? Eh, puedan eh, llegar. Eh, we are going to have like three, uh, four minutes eh, in order to, to formally start the class. But I'm very glad to have you here. Estoy muy contenta de tenerles con nosotros. Vamos a esperar un minutito. We normally will connect like five minutes before the class. Normalmente nos vamos a conectar eh, cinco minutitos, ¿verdad? Antes de la clase. Ok. Eh, para darle un tiempo, ¿verdad? A quienes van llegando. Y así nos vamos conectando. Nice to meet you, teacher. Nice to meet you, my dears. It's a pleasure to have you here tonight. Yes. Okay, so good evening. Good evening, welcome. Buenas noches, bienvenido. Thank you. Okay, just a couple of minutes to start. Okay. okay, in honor to you that are very early in this meeting, please be very welcome on behalf of Inglés Corporativo, right? My name is Patricia de Moran and I will be your teacher during this uh, class. So welcome Amilcar, welcome Dennis, uh, Patricia Flores, Emerson, René Mauricio, uh, Ricardo Cerritos, Ana Joachín, uh, Lila Herrera, eh, Gabriela Morales, eh, Elvin Eguizábal, Isaura Corea, Laura eh, Romaguera, Juan, Car Juan Campos, Alexia Aquino, Isaura Corea. I have here a Gal Galaxy 6, but I don't know the name. So if you can please write your name. Eh, para quienes se van conectando y tienen los nombres de sus dispositivos, pues pedirles, ¿verdad? Si pudieran colocar su nombre y su apellido. ¿Verdad? Con el objetivo de poderme dirigir a ustedes de la manera más adecuada por su nombre. Welcome Jessica, welcome uh, Arlen. Ok, Karen Oliva, thank you very much for being here. Ok, um, I'm going to, uh, as I said before, my name is Patricia de Morán. I will be your teacher. I'm very glad to have you here. And I'm going to share with you um, the welcome presentation that I have for you tonight, where I would like to explain a couple of things, right? Eh, me gustaría conocer si ustedes están eh, viendo mi pantalla. Yes, yes, sure. Okay, excellent. I'm going to start by saying thank you for being here. And I think that you were last night in a meeting uh, with Inglés Corporativo Administrative welcome. Staff. And I think that they already explain eh, like the rules for this space, learning space. Eh, en esta clase vamos a hacer una especie de Spanglish, ¿verdad? Por ser nuestra primera clase, con el objetivo de que algunas cosas queden eh, un poquito más claras, ¿verdad? Eh, comprendo que ustedes tuvieron una reunión ayer con el personal administrativo de inglés corporativo, ¿cierto? Eh, Okay, uh, yes. I, I imagine that in that meeting you got enough information about the course, ¿verdad? En esa, en esa reunión ustedes obtuvieron mucha información acerca del curso. 
So I will go fast with some specific aspects. Entonces voy a ir más rápido con algunos aspectos específicos, ¿verdad? Basically, um, the methodology of this course is uh, that we are going to have a warm-up, right? A greeting today. Uh, maybe today the greeting is, a, is, is going to be a little bit longer, right? El saludo de hoy probablemente sea un poquito más largo, ¿verdad? Y, y la presentación y el conocernos. One of the other rules for this space is that I will ask you to please to have your mics in mute unless we are in a participatory way, right? In a uh, participation dynamic. Eh, otro aspecto importante para que nos podamos escuchar bien es que eh, podamos mantener nuestros micrófonos silenciados mientras eh, su servidora les explica y luego cuando entramos en un espacio de interacción, pues ustedes pueden abrir sus micrófonos, ¿verdad? Eh, if you see in the in your board um, in your controls in your control panel there's a tool for you to raise your hand right en los controles ustedes tienen una herramienta para levantar la mano verdad para poder pedir la palabra if not you just raise your hand like this si no pues usted levanta la mano verdad como yo lo estoy haciendo and i will see that you want to say something or you just say teacher uh, it's me ivania or it's me gabriela and i want to participate and then I give you the space for participation. Entonces la idea es tener los micrófonos, ¿verdad? Eh, cerraditos mientras explicamos para que no hayan interferencias y ustedes se pueden escuchar muy bien y puedan escucharme. Y cuando sea el espacio de participación, cedemos la palabra. Eh, it's important to say that in this class we are learning. So whenever you're done, uh, feel comfortable that you're not understanding something, you can uh, raise your hand and say, teacher, can you please repeat that again? Or can you say that in Spanish uh, just for understanding completely? So it will be okay. Uh, va a estar bien si usted en algún momento siente que no está um, como eh, teniendo muy claro lo que estoy diciendo, usted me puede pedir que repita la idea o que la parafrasé en español, ¿verdad? Para que les quede de manera más clara lo que estoy diciendo, ¿verdad? So, uh, remember that all of us are learning, so nobody knows more than the other. So, it means that uh, no matter if you make mistakes, the idea is that you learn from mistakes. So, we won't laugh each other uh, because of mistakes. On the contrary, we appreciate that uh, because we are learning, right? Entonces, uh, este es un espacio para aprender. ¿Verdad? Y eh, no nos vamos a reír, ¿verdad? De lo que el otro, eh, si se equivocó o, o, o lo, no lo dijo bien, ¿verdad? Sino que al contrario, estamos en un espacio de interacción, de aprendizaje y es así como eh, vamos a poder aprender uno de otro. Um, so, I will explain the class methodology, even though you already know, but I want to say that we are going to have a review of the platform topic, right? And then we are going to connect the content and the practice of the class with that platform uh, topic review. Then uh, we will have some additional material that I have prepared for you. Uh, so the idea is that you can work very hard in uh, pairs uh, or group work um, in the breakout rooms for you to practice your speaking. And then we are going to come back to the plenary to have feedback from the teacher regarding to pronunciation and um, structure and all that you need to know. So this is a student-centered class. And then uh, I'm your teacher, but I'm most of all your facilitator of the learning process, right? Entonces, eh, básicamente este es su espacio, ¿verdad? Para que ustedes puedan practicar, ¿verdad? Para que ustedes puedan hablar. Entonces yo voy a conectar en cada clase el, el el material adicional que yo he preparado para ustedes, que está estrechamente relacionado con los contenidos de la plataforma. Y básicamente este es el espacio para eh, aclarar dudas, practicar, ¿verdad? Hablar mucho en parejas, en tríos. Y sobre todo para eh, hacer preguntas de algo que usted no haya comprendido eh, de la plataforma. So what I recommend you is to go to the platform, uh, advance as much as you can, and then come to the class and clarify all your doubts. So uh, regarding to the key materials, uh, let me tell you that 
Um, the platform completion is very important. Uh, you have to complete after every class all the exercise there. So um, when we finish section number three, we're going to have a midterm exam and a final exam when we finish section five. So the requirements to pass, um, the requirements are to pass the model in an 80%, right? So you need to be careful to solve all the exercises very well, right? Eh, el requisito para pasar es que tengamos el módulo con el 80%, ¿verdad? Entonces, ustedes deben de ser muy cuidadosos en completar los ejercicios de la mejor manera. And I will be ready to help you. No, don't worry if you have difficulties. Um, it's, there's no problem. I can help you. You can just write the question you have to the group and then I can help you. Eh, ok, estoy teniendo, me dicen que no escuchan, tal vez si pueden eh, revisar sus micrófonos, ¿verdad? Y si no tratar de reingresar, muchas veces eh, eh, hay que revisar, ¿verdad? El, el, el setting que tenemos en la computadora del, del micrófono, a veces eso nos, nos afecta, ¿verdad? Entonces sí, habría que revisar porque sí es una cuestión de la compu o del teléfono. Eh, entonces, eh, la plataforma es lo primero, ¿verdad? Eso es lo más importante, eso es lo que se evalúa, eso es lo que Insafor nos revisa para poder dar el módulo como aprobado. Entonces, los materiales que yo he elaborado para ustedes son adicionales para efectos de práctica en la clase. En regarding to uh, the additional material, uh, if you need it, you can take a picture or... Um, Only if you request, I can share uh, with you through the WhatsApp group, uh, depending exactly on what you need to um, have from that material. Eh, del material que yo he elaborado, si usted requiere algo, pues usted puede tomarle todas las capturas de pantalla, las imágenes que usted necesite, ¿verdad? Eh, no hay ningún problema porque es un material que hemos elaborado específicamente para ustedes. Ok. Um, <coughs> So I would like to know if you have questions. Me gustaría conocer si tienen preguntas. No? Yes or no? Okay, I will start my presentation again uh, for the people who recently um, connect. So my name is Patricia de Moram. I'm very glad to have you here. And I am an English uh, for work program uh, facilitator since two years ago. I live in San Salvador. Tal vez si me ayudan con poner mute los micrófonos, compañero. Gracias. Okay. Eh, si no, vamos a ver por acá de dónde nos viene el sonidito para poderlo aislar. Vamos a ver. Ok. So, I'm going to mute you all. Ok. Lo voy a poner mute un ratito a todos. Y si alguien necesita, pues tienen también la herramienta, ¿verdad? Para poderse habilitar el micrófono y con mucho gusto. Eh, eh, podemos eh, dialogar. Ok. Um, I live in San Salvador. I have studied a bachelor's degree in English language and a master's degree in local development as well as an organizational leadership diploma course. So I'm very glad to be your facilitator in this model and please be very welcome. Uh, now I'm going to stop sharing uh, because I would like to connect what topic of the platform we are going to study and then you will have the chance to practice to introduce yourselves and to interact with your uh, classmates so uh, let me share okay uh, can you watch my screen pueden, pueden ver mi pantalla sí. okay excellent so this is the platform uh, which you have access to So for today, for tonight, we are going to work with the content of the section one that says, it's nice to meet you, okay? Uh, so we are going to cover basically um, two or three objectives, right? And the first one says um, that we are going to learn uh, or to practice, right? How to Uh, by the end of this lecture, participants will be able to greet and introduce themselves using the verb to be. So that's what we are going to work with um, in the practice. Then in the platform, you have this video. Uh, my name is Jennifer Miller. 
So you have to go and then listen and watch the video because you need to train your ear on pronunciation. So in addition to this practice in the class, you need to practice a lot by listening and then repeating what you hear on the videos. Then uh, tonight we are going to cover also the 1.2 lesson objective that says by the end of this lecture, participants will be able to use my, your, his, her in order to introduce their names or to introduce a friend or classmate. Remember that introducing in this case means presentar, ¿verdad? Presentar a alguien, pero no digo present, ¿verdad? Porque present en inglés es un, eh, a present es un regalo. Entonces yo digo introduce myself, presentarme, o introduce a friend, presentar a un amigo, amiga. Eh, ok, uh, then we are going to go and practice possessive, uh, possessives, right? My, you, your, his, her, our, and so on. So I will ask you again to go to the platform and to watch this video and give us your comments. And finally, to conclude uh, tonight's session, I need that you go to the platform at the end or tomorrow early and that you can complete the one point for knowledge check. Once we study this lesson, you will be able to complete this knowledge check. And again, if you have any questions, please let us know, right? And I will be able to help you as you need. Okay, so that's what we are going to study tonight. So I'm going to stop sharing. And I would like to share the presentation that I have for you tonight. Okay. Um, can you watch my screen now? Podemos ver mi pantalla ahora? Just be sure. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, again, welcome. As I said before, um, this is my um, introduction, my personal uh, information. My name is Patricia de Moran. I live in Apopa, San Salvador. I'm 42 years old. There are four people in my family. There are my husband and my two girls. I work at Inglés Corporativo and I am an English teacher. My favorite color is blue and my favorite food is fish. So it's a pleasure to be your facilitator in this course. Okay, if you see here in my presentation, I'm using my, right, uh, the possessives, and I'm also using the verb to be, is. My name is, right? Uh, I say I am, right? Uh, remember that for saying your age, you don't have to say I have, you say I am, ¿verdad? No se dice yo tengo como en español, no se dice I have, sino que se dice I am 42 years old, right? Uh, in some lessons later, we are going to learn how to do this in a very, um, a very good way, but just uh, for you to remember that you have to say I am and then uh, your age. Okay, so uh, later you will practice this, but um, I would like that you uh, can tell us, uh, following this instruction or this example, that you can tell us, for example, hi, my name is, I live in, my favorite color is, my favorite food is, my profession is, my favorite sport is, if I have to answer this, I should say, hi, my name is Patricia. I live in Apopa, San Salvador. My favorite color is blue. My favorite food is fish. My profession is teacher. My favorite sport is uh, running, right? So who wants to start? Vamos a ver, ¿quiénes quieren comenzar? Uh, as I said before, tonight is going to be like uh, a little bit let me share. Tonight is going to be like a little bit longer, eh, the introduction. Esta noche va a ser así como un poquito más, más, van a sentir como bastante tiempo invertido, ¿verdad? En esta sección, pero es importante, ¿verdad? La, la información que les di es esta, ¿verdad? Esa es mi información personal. Y, and then, you can have this sketch for you to complete your own information. Okay, so I need volunteers. Who wants to start? Vamos a ver. ¿Quiénes quieren comenzar por acá? Good night. Hi. Okay, hi, hello. Ricardo, right? Hi. 
tonight. My name is Richard Ritos. I live in Santa Ana. My favorite color is uh, green. My favorite food is uh, pizza. Okay. My profession is engineer civil. My favorite sport is uh, baseball. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Ricardo. Nice to meet you. Welcome to this class. Thank you very much. Hi. Okay, uh, hi. Um, hi. Hi, Francisco. Hi, my name is Guillermo Rivas. Francisco ah, okay. Rivas. Okay. I live in Santa Tecla. Mm -hmm. My favorite color is blue. Okay. My favorite food is pizza. Okay, similar to my, my friend. Uh, <laughs> my, my profession is licenciado en contaduría pública. Okay. My favorite sport is football. Okay, excellent. You can say, um, Thank you. Thank you. you're welcome. Welcome to this class. Thank you. You can say, I have a bachelor's in accountancy, right? Eh, para decir la licenciatura, ¿verdad? En contaduría pública, I have a bachelor's degree in accountancy. Okay, perfecto. Okay. Excellent, okay. thank you, thank you. Thank you. Eh, we're learning here. Y en el caso de Richard, eh, me lo dijo, solo que al revés sería, I'm a civil engineer. Uh, okay. ¿Sí? Primero la especialidad y luego la, la carrera. Excelente, uh, okay. ok. Who wants to continue, my friends? Thanks. Vamos a hey. ver. Sin Marín, si no vamos a empezar a decir, ¿ok? Hello, I. Hello. Hello. I'm Amilcar. Okay. My name is Amilcar Alejandro Escobar Miranda. I live in San Salvador, Mexicanos. My favorite color is uh, violet. Um, my favorite food is uh, chicken, uh, fish. Uh, I like the eggs, eggs every day. Okay. Uh, my profession is, uh, 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 right now, I'm working in a bakery. Okay. Uh, my favorite sport is a uh, workout uh, oh. sometime. <laughs> okay, excellent, okay. very good. Thank you for elaborating that delicious bread. We cannot yes. live without bread. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, yeah. Amilka. Thank you very much okay. for introducing yourself. Okay, who wants to continue, my dears? Let's see, let's see. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, Elvin. Hello, my name is Elvin Aguizabal. I live in Santa Ana. My, uh, my favorite color is blue. My favorite food is pizza. My, my profession is business administration. Uh, my favorite sport is soccer. Excellent. Thank you, Elvin. Thank you very much for introducing yourself. Welcome to this welcome. English class. You're welcome. Excellent. Uh, who wants to continue? Ladies. The ladies are very timid tonight. They don't want to speak. Good night. Good night. Good evening. Hello. Please go ahead. The mic is yours. Adelante. Uh, hi. Hi. Hi, my name is Patricia Flores. Uh, I live in, in Apopa. Okay. My favorite my favorite color is black. My favorite food is chicken. My profession is secretary. Mm -hmm. And my favorite sports football. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Thank you very much, Patricia. Okay, you have same name like me, okay? Um, next volunteer. Siguiente voluntario, voluntaria, vamos a ver. A ver, a ver, siguiente. Hi. Hi, hello. Hello, uh, my name is Lila. Okay, Lila. I live in San Sal San Sonate. Mm -hmm. My favorite color is red. Okay. My favorite food is el fish. Okay. My professional okay. is employer, okay. que sería empleada, verdad? Yes. Y yes. my y 
My favorite sport is correr. Ok. Excellent. You say run for correr. Run. Y para empleado, sí, you can say uh, employee. Yeah? Employee. 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 Okay. employee. Ok. O puede decir, I work in y el lugar donde trabaja, ¿verdad? Uh, Excellent. Okay. Excuse me. Yeah. Teacher. Excuse me, teacher. Uh, how do you say uh, bachillerato en contaduría pública? Ah, uh, you say high school uh, diploma in uh, accountancy. 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 Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Uh, who else? I will have like two more. Vamos a tener como dos participaciones más, no porque no quiera que se presenten todos, sino porque ya va a venir el momento en el que nos vamos a presentar en, el, en los grupos de trabajo, ¿verdad? Eh, okay. ok, one more volunteer, un voluntario más, o voluntaria. Yeah. Ok, go ahead. Eh, hi, my name is Isaura Corea, I live in, in Mexicanos, my favorite color is red, my favorite food is hamburger. Okay. Listo Millo y Sabor a Coreas. Contable. Eh, ¿Cómo dijo? Perdón. Auxiliar contable. How do you say? Uh, accountant uh, assistant. Accountant assistant. My favorite sport is basketball. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you very much, Isaura. Do we have a final volunteer this time? Yes. Tenemos un voluntario más. Luego vamos a continuar, ¿verdad? Pero vamos a ir cerrando esta ronda para poder avanzar. Listo, Millo y Sabora Corea. Hi. Hi, hello. Hi, Miss. Miss, ¿qué uh, Adelante, we can hear you. Hi, my name is Gerson Aguilar. I... I live in My favorite color is uh, blue. Uh, my favorite is tamperesa. My process, my profession, my profession uh, is the auxiliar de bodega. Okay, uh, that should be like um, warehouse assistant, right? Or warehouse staff, right? Uh, una bodega is a warehouse, right? Uh, and then you become, uh, you are like, um, yeah. an, um, yes, an assistant, right? And hamburger, for the food it's hamburger, right? Excellent. Very good. Thank you very much for the people who uh, decided to break the ice and start sharing. Uh, I am I'm very glad for that. I like that because that's the only one way that you can learn the language by practicing. Okay. So let's continue. Okay. Look, um, when you know people by the first no time, you have the formal greetings. And by the first time you can say, it's nice meeting you. Or it's nice, um, it's nice to meet you, right? Uh, it's nice to meet you too, right? Right. And you can ask, uh, how are you? And how do you do? And you can answer, I'm good, thank you, right? Uh, and what about the second time? When I see a person by the second time, it's mean, it means that tomorrow I will see you for a second time. And I can say, hi, my students. It's good to see you again, or it's good seeing you again, right? Um, and the other person can say, it's good seeing you too, or it's good to see you. How have you been? How have you been? Como has estado? Uh, I have been good. Thank you, right? So those are the, the greetings for the first time and for the second time, right? And um, I would like to teach you the informal greetings because in the, for example, in the movies or in the American English, um, in the spoken American English in the US or maybe in Canada, you will listen to people that is talking like this. What's up? <laughs> Nothing much. You? But this is not very formal. That's very informal, right? I'm doing good. Yeah. What's going on? Not much. You? 
How are you? I'm doing good. You? But this is not very formal, right? Uh, remember that this is not the best way when you don't know people, right? Eh, este es el lenguaje casual, ¿verdad? Cuando usted ya está en familia, con amigos, persona, gente que conoce de many years ago, gente que conoce de muchos años. But eh, when there is the first time you, you meet a person or it's a very formal greeting because you're looking for a job or you're talking to your boss, it's like this, right? Okay. Entonces, cuando usted está hablando con su jefe o con alguien que usted no conoce, ¿verdad? Um, usted debería utilizar los formal greetings, los saludos formales, ¿verdad? No de casual or informal. Ok. Uh, to advance with the class, I would like to teach you about the uh, possessive, subject pronoun plus have, and possessive adjectives, ¿ok? So we are going to learn how to express uh, the possession of something. Vamos a aprender acerca de la, cómo decir que algo me pertenece. Possessive. Entonces, vamos, let, let, me, let me do something. Vamos a hacer algo. Excuse me. Quiero Hola, perdón que le interrumpa. Vamos a, vamos a poner quizás en, en mute un ratito para... Ajá, porque... Ok, nos vamos a poner un ratito en mute, chicos. Eh, whenever you want to speak, you just open your mic. Cuando usted quiera hablar, ab abrimos el micrófono. Cuando usted me quiera preguntar algo para poder yo eh, tener un poquito de eh, mejor sonido para poderles explicar esto. Ok, so let me see. Ok. Ok, it's ok, no problem. Okay, again, uh, we are talking about the possessive adjectives. In the possessive adjectives, we have many ways to express that something belongs to me, right? For example, I can say, I have a dog, right? And in this case, if you see, I'm using the subject pronoun plus the verb have. Yo tengo un perro. You have a shirt. Tú tienes una camisa. He has a book. Vea que para he, para she y para it utilizamos has in the simple present of the verb have, right? El verbo se llama verbo to have, tener, but I use has for he, she, it. La forma para él, ella, ello es has. He has a book. Él tiene un libro. She has a pet. Ella tiene una mascota. It has a bone. Eh, la mascota, ¿verdad? Eso tiene un, un hueso. We have a car. Tenemos un carro. You have a son. Tú tienes un hijo. They have uh, children. Ellos tienen hijos, ¿verdad? Eh, okay. Then, eh, when I'm using, I have another way to express possession, which is using the possessive adjectives. And then I say, my dog is friendly. When I want to uh, express this, I use the possessives, my, right? Like in this case. Your, right, so let me show you with a spotlight. Okay, my, your, his, her, it's our, your, their, right? My dog is friendly. I'm saying that the dog belongs to me. And I'm describing that it's friendly. Your shirt is new. His book is old. Her pet is a cat. Its color is brown. Our car is red. Your son is tall. Their children are funny, right? Okay, veamos. Which is the correspondence of the possessive of the subject pronouns? Todos estos se llaman eh, subject pronouns, right? I, you, he, she, it, we, you, and they son subject pronouns. Y estos son possessive adjectives. Entonces, para I, yo uso my. Para you, your. Para he, his. Para she, her. ¿Verdad? Su, eh, de ella, ¿verdad? Para it, its. Para we, our. Para you, your. Como el de arriba, ¿verdad? Solo que el primer you puede ser tu singular y el segundo you es ustedes, ¿verdad? Eh, they, ellos. Their, right? 
So this is the way to use the possessive adjectives for expressing that something belongs to me or to someone else. So we need to be careful to don't confuse, for example, it's with the contraction it's, ¿verdad? Que es it is. Cuando utilizamos el, el, el verb to be, ¿verdad? Eh, cuidado con no confundir este, ¿verdad? Con la contracción it's. Eh, y, te, y de no confundir your, ¿verdad? Este con your, porque se pronuncian igual, pero se escriben diferente. When we are using the, using the contraction of you are, tú eres, ¿verdad? Eh, o tú estás. Ok, uh, let me advance a little bit. Vamos a avanzar un poquito. Ok, now here I have an extra chart that explains the difference between the subject pronouns, the possessive adjectives, and the possessive pronouns. ¿verdad? Poquito a poco vamos adentrando, ¿verdad? Y ya explicamos que estos son los subject pronouns. I, you, he, she, it, we, you, and they. Okay, I play football, Jan is very young, she is a teacher, it, it is a dog, we like to study English, you are students, they have a nice car. But here I have the possessive adjective. This is very similar to the previous um, slide that I was sharing with you. This is my team, give me your address, that is his car. De él, ¿verdad? Su de él, su carro de él. I know her mother. Conozco a su mamá de ella. It has its wings. Tiene alas, ¿verdad? Tiene sus alas. So maybe we're talking about a bird. Estamos hablando de un pájaro, ¿verdad? Remember that it is for things um, like animals or uh, plants, for example. We like our English class. I like your house. This is their teacher, right? So these are possessive adjectives. But we also have the possessive pronouns. So you can say, teacher, and what are the possessive pronouns? Okay, here you are. Mine, yours, him, her, it's, ours, yours, theirs. The ball is mine. Aquí ya no es mi, sino mío, ¿verdad? O mía. La pelota es mía. The book is yours. El libro es de ustedes. Yours. Um, the house belongs to him. La casa le pertenece a él. ¿Verdad? Aquí ya no es su de él, sino a él, ¿verdad? Uh, the skirt is hers. La falda es de ella. The bone is its. El hueso, ¿verdad? Es de, 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 del animalito. Uh, the clothes are ours, um, those cars are yours, the homework is theirs, okay? So, uh, here I have an exercise for you. Aquí tenemos ya el primer ejercicio para ustedes, vea. Uh, aquí estamos integrando, ¿verdad? El introducing myself, introducing my friends. And I would like that you can introduce a... Uh, Yourself, you already did it. Ustedes ya se presentaron, ¿verdad? Obviamente en el grupo van a tener que volverse a presentar brevemente. But I would like that you can introduce a friend that can be a, a male or a female, right? For example, if I have a friend, which is a male, un caballero, yo digo, he is my friend, eh, Amilcar. Uh, uh, yo digo, he is my friend. His name is Amilcar Alejandro. His nickname is Alex. I don't know. It's just inventing, right? Imagining, supposing, and guessing. Solo estoy suponiendo, imaginando, inventando. Ya no sé cuál es el nickname. Entonces, ¿qué es un nickname? Es el nombre corto, ¿verdad? O como a él le gusta que le diga. His favorite food is, so I have to say, I don't know if he said hamburger or pizza. I don't, I don't remember what Amilcar said, sorry. Eh, his favorite color is, right? Su color favorito es. Y entonces, estoy hablando de de mi amigo, ¿verdad? A Milcar. Entonces yo utilizo para hablar de las cosas que le pertenecen a él. His, ¿verdad? His nickname, his favorite food, his favorite color, right? So what about the girl? For example, she's my friend. Her name is Isaura Corea. 
Her nickname is Isa. I'm just imagining Isa. <laughs> Maybe, <laughs> okay. Her favorite food is, and I will say, I will mention the favorite food for Isa. And her favorite color is. So I'm using her because I'm talking about she. I'm talking about Isa. Okay, adelante. Alguien quería decir algo? Okay, what about it? In this case, I'm talking about my pet, right? This is my pet. My pet, mi mascota, ¿verdad? Its name is. Yes. Su nombre, ¿verdad? De mi mascota es Toto. Let's think that this is a dog and this is, and, and its name is Toto. Its nickname is uh, Toto. Uh, its favorite food is uh, buns or I don't know. <laughs> Maybe um, special dog's food. And its favorite drink is water or milk. I don't know. So, what I want you to do now is to please take a picture of this. Lo que le voy a pedir ahora es que por favor tomemos una imagen, ¿verdad? De esto. Eh, yo también lo voy a hacer y se lo voy a mandar al grupo de WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Eh, me gustaría saber si todos ya están en el grupo de WhatsApp, mis estimados. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, yes. excellent, excellent. That is going to be very useful. Miren, estoy tratando de sacar la mejor definición de esta picture, pero si alguien más la puede enviar antes que yo, it's very welcome. Okay, ahí estamos. I will send it to you. Vamos a ver. Hola. Hola, adelante. Yo creo que ya no estoy en el grupo de WhatsApp. ¿Cómo hago para...? para... Eh, thank you. Ahí mandaron una súper linda. Gracias. Eh, la mía no está muy, muy linda. Ok, está bien. Thank you. Perdón, eh, para el grupo de WhatsApp, usted debe ir al correo. En el correo donde le mandaron las credenciales, allí está, ¿verdad? Para que usted se una al grupo, ¿verdad? Eh, uh -huh. En este caso, el administrador eh, es inglés corporativo, ¿verdad? Entonces ellos automáticamente eh, cuando usted se inscribió eh, van a, a poder acceder ¿verdad? a través de ese link que les han mandado. ¿Sí? Bueno, muy, si usted perfecto. tiene alguna dificultad, a la orden. Si usted tiene alguna dificultad, entonces habría que contactar a los compañeros para que me le reenvíen el link con mucho gusto. Perfecto, y si no me dice, perfecto. yo también puedo eh, reenviarle el link. Ok, yo, yo voy a revisar el, 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 el correo. Ok, excelente. So, What we are going to do Thank now. You. Yes, yes. You're welcome. Entonces, ¿qué vamos a hacer ahora? Vamos a ir a los breakout rooms. ¿Qué son los breakout rooms? Uh, the breakout rooms are uh, small rooms, pequeños uh, grupos, ¿verdad? O pequeños salones virtuales en donde vamos a trabajar, ¿verdad? Estos, estos ejercicios para que ustedes puedan practicar. The intention is that you speak eh, the most, la idea es que usted hable más de lo que yo hablo, de esta noche quizá yo he hablado mucho because it's our first time I gave some instructions, I introduced myself, but eh, most of the, the, the times eh, you will be the ones that will speak the most, so I just will guide you and then you speak. Ok, so let me, let me do the rooms, eh, quiero aclarar que los, los breakout rooms eh, se hacen de manera automática, ¿verdad? En esta oportunidad vamos a poner, vamos a hacer grupos, ¿verdad? De cuatro. So, eh, no voy a tener control, digámoslo así, de, de quiénes se unen. Y creo que es lo mejor porque el grupo que van a tener ahora va a cambiar mañana y va a cambiar en, así, ¿verdad? Eso es, es enriquecedor, ¿verdad? Es porque si yo los pongo siempre con las mismas personas, eh, no vamos a lograr aprender bien uno de otro. So, I would like to ask you to please be open-minded and participate in all the groups because at the end you will know each other. Al final se van a llegar a conocer todos, ¿verdad? Ok, so, uh, let's create the rooms. Vamos a crear los rooms y le va a llegar una invitación. You have to join. Le puede decir join unir, en inglés o puede ser unirse, ¿verdad? Eh, ahí estamos. Tienen que haberle llegado ya Perdón, vamos, lo voy a cerrar. Disculpen, disculpen, disculpen. Vamos a, a crearlos porque no los habíamos creado bien. Vamos a crear eh, options. 
nos vamos a recrear porque solo habíamos sacado cuatro grupos. <risa> ok. Vamos a hacer así. Vamos a hacer grupos más pequeñitos. Ahí está. Está mucho mejor así. Ahí está. Tienen que haber recibido ahora de nuevo la invitación. Quien no la tenga me dice, ¿verdad? Con mucho gusto. Hola Edwin, eh, y tengo a Huawei que no logro identificar su nombre, me disculpo porque no sé cómo puedo asistirles para que ingresen a los grupos. Quisiera saber si recibieron la invitación. Hola, hola, ¿me pueden escuchar? La idea sí, sí. Es, ahí está, hola. Vamos. Ahí está, ok. Uh, ¿Han tenido alguna dificultad para unirse? ¿No les ha llegado la invitación? Como no, al principio sí me, se me complicó un poco. Ok. Pero ya estamos aquí. Excelente, excelente. Bueno, yo voy a hacer un tour por los grupos, ¿verdad? Cualquier necesidad de asistencia, ahí está. Ok. Ok. Hello, hello. How is it going? Hola, hola, ¿cómo van? ¿Me pueden escuchar? Hola, Alexia, está solita, ¿verdad? ¿O hay alguien más en el grupo? Aquí está Laura, Laura. y Laura, ¿ok? Ahí está. Parece que está teniendo dificultades eh, con el micrófono. Sí, dice que no le sirve el micrófono. Vaya, Alexia. Eh, si les parece, voy a tratar de unir a alguien más al grupo, eh, ¿verdad? Para que, para que puedan trabajar, ¿sí? Sí, está bien. La otra opción es que se comuniquen por el chat también, para que Laura pueda participar, tal vez no de forma eh, oral, pero sí por, eh, por el chat, ¿verdad? Eh, de forma sí, no hay problema. Ok, voy a tratar de mandar a alguien, ¿ok? Thank you. Thank you very much. A la persona que está con el Huawei eh, 03, le he mandado nuevamente la invitación para unirse a uno de los grupos, para que por favor la pueda aceptar. ¿Sí? Ok. Hola, hola, ¿cómo les está yendo? Arlen. Hola. Hola, Arlen, eh, ¿usted está solita? La, no, aquí ¿sí? está Gabriela, Gabriela, pero no sé si Gabriela tendrá problemas con el audio, probablemente. Eh, porque no, no veo que se que quite el mute. Eh, ok, vamos a hacer algo, Arlen. Eh, la voy a mover a otro grupo, si le parece, para que pueda tener interacción ¿sí? con alguien más. Un momento, por favor. Al principio vino. Hola, hola, ¿me pueden escuchar? Start, but then in practice in the in the group. But it's necessary. Hello. Oh, yes. 
Is everything Hello, okay? Fisher. Excuse me for the interruption. I'm very glad to see you practicing. I'm just going around to see if everything is okay or if do you have questions? No? Mm, ¿Tenemos preguntas? No. ¿Todo bien? Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Excellent. Very good. Introducing yourself. Okay. See you in a couple of minutes. Yeah, in the meeting. Excellent. Uh, okay. Les veo en unos minutos. Okay. Teacher. Vaya, entonces voy con bueno. la tercera, ¿verdad? Sí. Is, it is my cat, sería, si el gato. It is my cat. Vez? No. Esa es su mascota. Ajá. Ah, ok, ok. Y, y, Hello, hello, is everything ok? ¿Todo bien por acá? Hola, 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 ¿me pueden escuchar? Hola, 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 hola. hola ¿cómo están? Eh, ¿Necesitan ayuda? Por aquí veo que está Gabriela, Alexia, sí, sí. Laura, sí, quiero ver quién más. Ok, ¿may I help you? ¿Les puedo ayudar? Do you have questions? ¿Tenemos preguntas? Eh, probablemente algunos tengan quizá dificultades con el audio. Eh, en ese caso, eh, pueden comunicarse vía chat. La herramienta también tiene acceso a un chat, ¿verdad? Para que al menos por ahí se puedan conocer un poquito, ¿sí? Ok, excelente. Sí, una minuto. El verde. Ok. Sí, es no my sé. friend. His name is Adriana. His eh, 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 Nick's name is Adri. Francis. Yeah. Eh, en, el caso de, en el caso de ella sería her name. Sí. Emer, is favorite food is pizza. Ajá. Y le pusimos his. Esta cosa se me apaga el teléfono. <ríe> his favorite color is blue. ¿Verdad? Entonces sí. después. atención a su voz. Se sienten, se sienten importantes, que le llamen, que siente que ya me llaman de otro país. Me hablan de extranjeros. Yeah. Hola, hola. Hola, everything okay? About to finish, casi terminando. Es, yes. yes. Excelente, yes. excelente. Ok, I'll call you back to the main room. En un minuto lo llamo al, al salón principal para que compartamos, ok? Ok. Excelente. Sí, en un minuto, ok. Hello, hello, welcome back. Bienvenido, bienvenidas de regreso. I hope your practice has been very interesting. I tried to go around to see you work and I'm very glad that you were working, right? Uh, I am not sure, but I think that there is one or two groups that I couldn't reach. Um, uh, I couldn't go because of the time, but I, I expect that you have been able to work together. Okay. Um, I would like to ask, uh, who would like to start? Who would like to participate? ¿A quién, eh, vamos a necesitar por lo menos unos tres o cuatro equipos que voluntariamente quieran participar. I need uh, three or four volunteer teams 
that would like to share what you did on the breakout room. Que nos puedan compartir qué hicieron, ¿verdad? Yo los vi a la gran mayoría, ¿verdad? Que solo creo que hay uno o dos grupos que eh, estaban presentando alguna dificultad de audio, ¿verdad? Les di la opción que pudieran chatear. Pero el resto sí eh, vi que estaban, eh, you were speaking, right? You were introducing yourself. Ok, so I'm very glad for that. Estoy contenta por eso. So who wants to start? Vamos a ver. Si no, comenzamos al team marín. And point out, you, you, you. <laughs> Vamos a ver. Voluntarios, chicos. A ver, el equipo de quién. Vamos a ver, eh, yo vi bien activo el equipo de Francisco, Francisco Rivas. Vamos a ver, sí. Francisco. She is my friend, her name is Adriana. Ok. Her name is Adri. Ok. Her favorite food is pupusas. Ok. Y her favorite color is green, verde. Ok, excelente. Adri, would you like to, to introduce your friend? Eh, ¿Le podría usted presentar a su amigo? Yes. Okay. Here is my friend. His name is Fran Francisco. Okay. okay. His nickname is Fran. His favorite food is pizza. Mm -hmm. His favorite color is blue. Okay, excellent. Um, there, um, is it, it there was another person in your group? Yes. Okay, who was? Uh, <laughs> uh, who was in this beautiful team? ¿Quién estaba en este maravilloso equipo, chicos? A ver. Uh, Amilcar. Amilcar. Okay, Amilcar. Um, I don't know if one of your friends uh, introduced a pet. ¿Alguien de los amigos introdu eh, presentó un, eh, su mascota que nos la pudiera? Or maybe yours, if you have one. O su mascota, si usted tiene una, Milka. Pero no le oigo a Milka. Tal vez si le quita el mute. Creo que tiene mute. Ok. Ok, adelante. Uh, ok, I have a pet. Ok. Uh, it's a cat. Uh, he, he is uh, it's, very, its name its name is uh, sentinella okay uh, it yes <laughs> its okay. nickname is uh, senti okay <laughs> yes uh, it likes to play uh, very much and, Excellent. and sometimes he he sleep uh, outside <laughs> in, okay. in the night because he <laughs> he go to uh, it go to 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 work. Yeah, okay. it, it goes uh, around to look yes. for another cat. <laughs> uh, yes, and in the morning he he back to home. Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. And what's the favorite food you already mentioned? Um, it's it's favorite food. Uh, food is um. Let me a moment, please. Okay, don't worry, don't worry. You can say fish or cat food. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Uh, my wife says that that is uh, la purina. Ah, purina. <laughs> yes, purina, purina, for purina, purina. Yes, uh, for cats. <laughs> uh, and, uh, and it's it, favorite drink? And, yes, excuse me. And it's favorite drink? Maybe milk, uh, water? Uh, oh. uh, it, it's like uh, water. Okay, it likes um, water. And sometimes uh, we we feed you we feed, feed it. You feed uh, it uh, with with other food. Okay, uh, like like we eat like human foods. Okay, like, yes, yes, yes. Okay. Excellent, very good. Thank you, <laughs> yes. thank you very much, team. Okay. Okay, who else? Alguien más? Un equipo más? Because of the time, I think that there will be. A chance only for one more team. Un equipo más. Let's see. Vamos a ver. Voluntarily, voluntariamente, chicas y chicos. Aquí está, aquí está. 
Let's see, let's see, vamos a ver. Eh, Jessica Steam, el equipo de Jessica, vamos a ver, Jessica Pineda. Las chicas Hi. al poder. Hi. <laughs> the power tonight. I'm going to take a picture. Um, Ismay Price, Ismay is Emerson. Okay. Ismay Nikin is Emer. Okay. My favorite food is pizza. Okay. It's my favorite color is blue. Okay, his favorite color is blue. Excellent. Mm. Emerson, thank you, Jessica. Emerson, would you like to introduce your friend Jessica, please? Can you hear us, Emerson? Nos puede escuchar, Emerson? Okay, ¿quién más estaba en el equipo, Jessie? Jessica? Yo. Okay, would you like to introduce your friend? ¿Le podría presentar a Jessica? Yes. Ok, please. Oh, She is cute, the cat. Ok. Her name is Jessica. Se lo mandé. Her name is... Uh -huh. Her nickname is Jessie. Uh -huh. Her favorite food is chicken. Ok. Her favorite color is black. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. And do you have a pet? ¿Tiene usted una mascotita? No. No, you don't have a pet. No, pero nos inventamos una. Ok, would, uh, would you like to say your, um, pero no sé si Emerson para darle el espacio de participar. Eh, no sé si él nos escuchaba. Emerson no estaba. No estaba. ¿Quién era? Perdón. Emerson no, no sí. estaba. Compañerito. Ah, es, no, quizás no pudo escuchar. ¿no? Ah, creo que quizás no pudo escuchar. Uh -huh. Okay, don't worry. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Uh, I think that because of the time, we are going to stop here. Por el tiempo, creo que vamos a dejarlo hasta acá. Uh, I would like to invite you to, to please continue practicing at home, right? And uh, for tomorrow, we are going to continue uh, solving um, another exercises that I have for you. And I will explain a little bit about the possessive uh, pronouns. Mañana vamos a ver los possessive pronouns, porque alcanzamos a ver nada más los possessive adjectives. Entonces mañana vamos a eh, iniciar la clase concluyendo esta parte. And then um, to conclude the, the other exercise I have for you. And then uh, to start the new topic, right? Uh, so uh, I think that it's enough for today. Thank you very much for coming. And I appreciate that you uh, stay here with a very good attitude for learning and that you participate as you did tonight. Gracias okay, por you. estar aquí. Aprecio su deseo de aprender, ¿verdad? Y su, su deseo de participar. Eh, recuerden que en la práctica hace el maestro, ¿verdad? Y hablando, thank you, teacher. vamos a, a mejorar nuestro inglés. Okay, thank you very much for coming. I hope to see you tomorrow. Take care. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Bye bye. Thank you, teacher. Yes. Bye. 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 Bye.